Are you one of those people that you feel like your hair isn't growing past certain length and even though you see growth in your roots and you see growth in your color but you can't see much length on ends of your hair or hair to be any longer like everyone else? My name is Zoya. I am the hair loss and hair extension specialist and I do own a salon in Dallas where we address all of our guests needs, questions, all the problem that they have at the salon. But I want to help you with this video, understand why your hair isn't growing and what can you do to help that and what can you do to grow your hair up. In order to find out why your hair isn't growing, you need to know the growth cycle of the hair. We have three cycles of the hair that simultaneously happening in our head. Not all of our hair goes through the growth phase and everything falls out and then we grow new hair. It all happens simultaneously. We have a cycle of the hair that is generally between three to seven, eight years as we're younger, generally that cycle is longer and it gets shorter as we age. We have a cycle that our hair goes doormat and it doesn't do anything and then start shedding and falling out. And then the hair start growing. So that's why you always see like if you hold up your hair naturally, you see you have ones that are much longer and then you have shorter ones and then you have these baby hair that you see closer to your scalp. And if you look at it microscopically, actually, you can see all of that whole lot better. But sometimes that turnover is a lot faster. Generally hair that we have around the face and all these baby hair that we have on top, we feel like it's not growing and it's always short and baby hair and it's just stay that way because it is the turnover that happening around around of our face or sometimes that happens when you have a baby you go through hormonal change you go through weight loss other challenges that can happen with our body so that turnover can happen faster so at that point you feel like you can't catch up and you can't get your hair growing out faster but in general everybody has those cycles and if your body is healthy and you're not going through any challenges and no underlying cause and issue, your hair will eventually grow and you're able to see some lights. But if your body is going through many challenges simultaneously with thyroid, aging, dieting, weight loss, weight gain, and hormonal change, that gets to be a little bit hard. So the very first thing you need to know is you need to keep your protein up. That is very important. Most of us do not get enough protein in our system and that cause for our hair to lack. If you know the component of the hair, it's made of keratin and water, which is protein based. Keratin is protein based. So it is important that we get healthy amount of protein, which is generally to measure that about 10% of your body weight. For instance, if you are 130 pounds, I need about 130 grams of protein or to be just kind of estimately at least 100 grams of protein every day to be able to keep up and keep my body healthy and make sure my hair growing perfectly without having to go through that turnover a whole lot faster. So that is number one cause for your hair is not catching up to the length and to the thickness that you want. The second thing you need to know is sometimes it's not about growth problem. Again, if you see your hair is growing right at the roots and you can see the new growth coming in because of the color and liner demarcation that you see, it's not about the growth challenges, it is about retention of the length. And knowing that, you need to know that our ends keep breaking for many different factors. Ends of our hair, it used to be a root at one point of our life. And in order to have healthy ends, you need to have healthy roots and healthy mids. Generally, when that happens, you need to know it is about the care and maintenance challenges that you have with your hair, which the good news about that is you can 
definitely help it and fix that problem so you can grow your hair out. When it comes to maintaining your hair and your ends, you need to have a routine and make sure your routine is something that beside your shampoo and right shampoo and conditioner, you need to have a routine to make sure in between wash, how you can care for your hair so your hair doesn't end up shredding, falling out and breaking on the ends. So this way you're able to maintain the length and grow your hair out. For that being said, let's review what we can do to maintain and retain the length of our hair. One of the big things you can do to see if your hair is breaking or actually is not growing is to kind of get, I would say, a good chunk of your hair. If you are noticing that the hair is much thicker at the base and as it starts growing out to the ends, it starts getting thinner and thinner, you know that naturally you're breaking some of your hair. And what you can do to avoid that is to heat a style a little bit less, to make sure you are using a right product and right routine and avoid harsh brushing, avoid putting your hair and not pulling your hair up at night and all the things that you can do to maintain the health of the hair. One of the big things that I see happening with most people is they telling me I let my hair air dry and then I use a styling tool to straighten my hair or to go back and curl my hair, which is one of the biggest mistakes someone can make. If your hair dried out in a certain condition, if you have like border straight hair, it's not as much of a problem. But if you have wavy or curly hair and you want to let your hair naturally air dry and then go back with it with heat styling tools like a flat iron or curling iron, the second that you have a little bit of humidity in the air, your hair will go back to the actual like stage that it has dried out. Like it start frizzing, it's not holding the curl, it's not staying straight and start kind of like getting bigger and growing off of your hair. It makes you go back with the styling tools back on your hair because you want to have good looking hair the second day or the third day of your hair and that caused damage. You have to know if you style your hair properly the first day right after you get out of the shower and you're using the right product to maintain the health, the moisture and the hydration of the hair, you don't really need to go back over your hair with a styling tool the second or third day. Another part that I notice is a lot of people take a shower or take a bath and they just put their hair up. Uh, they don't put their hair in a shower cap. I have to say, I am guilty of it myself and I would say till very recently I didn't do this practice very often uh, because I kind of like let my hair air dry and I would just kind of let it be but I noticed my hair gets just kind of a little bit more frizzy, it gets a lot flatter and I have to wash my hair more often or have to use heat styling stuff like the next day. So I started getting a shower cap and oh my God, the difference that it made. Even though you put your hair up and you have a detachable shower head and you get in the shower and you don't get any water on your hair, the steam caused your hair to change condition. And at this point, then you can't do nothing about it because those small molecular uh, particular water that gets to your hair and change the condition of your hair affects how your hair look and feel the next day. So remember that, and that is a huge part of styling your hair and keeping and maintaining your hair as it is. If you get hair extensions and hair toppers and you have hair addition, sometimes hair addition helps to actually protect your ends a little bit more because at this point you are mostly focusing on the ends of your hair with the extension that is kind of covered, but you're still 
you'll notice a lot of times that the top of the hair in the side is not growing and that is because it's kind of bare so that is one way to protect the hair but another part that is super important a lot of people when they get extensions they forget their own ends it's a little bit higher so they don't oil their hair in order for you to protect your hair and your ends you have to consider you have to use a great shampoo and conditioner if you try to lengthen your hair having a mask routine it is super important it is a big difference between having the conditioner and the mask and that is something i would talk about in another video and why do you need to use mask but after you use your shampoo and conditioner if even your hair is very fine you need to use a leave-in conditioner that is a must i cannot just repeat this more it is important to use a very light leave-on conditioner in order for you to protect your hair and prevent the moisture from leaking out from the ends of your hair so you put your shampoo and conditioner your conditioner help hydrating it by you using a leave-on conditioner thermal styling product and oil and the ends and mids of your hair you are helping your hair keeping that moisture and prevent it from shredding and falling out and breaking off from the ends so leave-in conditioner and oil it's a must thing for growing out your hair so getting it right healthy routine would help tremendously i will add a link below products that we recommend for you to use but that's not all our point of this is just to help you it's not to sell products or anything like that we need you to have a healthy hair so we can help you further and give you the feelings and show you the feelings and uh, all the good things you can experience with having good hair days so make sure that you tune in for most and our next videos so we can help you have beautiful healthy hair every day until next video ciao and i hope you like this video and you like and subscribe and stay tuned for our following videos that we come up about healthy hair how to hair and let your hair grow let your hair be a source of joy and happiness instead of a pain point in your life until next time, ciao, and I hope you have a beautiful day.